many who thronged the second day high court to witness the sentencing of the suspect in the high school uh, robbery at Takradi were disappointed following the adjournment of the case. It would be recalled that two students of St. Mary's Boys Senior High School were butchered in their sleep during a robbery uh, attack on campus. Monica Dede Odonko has filed this report. The judge, Abuna Ajinduku, had indicated that ruling will be given on, on the 26th November 2019, but this had to be rescheduled following the Jusak strike. The accused, 35-year-old Richmond Ahu, had reportedly butchered the two students, Abdul Majid Al Hassan and Oxborn Osei, in their sleep and made away with valuables from the school on the dawn of Saturday, November 9, 2019. A second robbery attempt on Sunday, November 10, however, got him arrested. A search in his home, according to the police, found student chop boxes, books, provisions including shito and student ID cards, among others. He has been charged with 20 counts of stealing, causing damage and unlawful entry into the school's premises, and a second charge of causing harm and inflicting multiple cutlass wounds on the two students. On his first appearance in court, Richmond admitted to the crime and asked to be sentenced. The judge, however, adjourned the case to enable the court to find out the state of the two butchered students. But on Wednesday in court, the judge asked for exhibits from the prosecutor. She also wanted to know the state of the second victim, who was said to be in a critical condition. The court also wanted the history of Richmond, who is an ex-convict. The case has been adjourned to 26 November 2019. Francis Emisa is the assistant headmaster of St. Mary's Boys Senior High School. One of them, uh, Osborne Osei, is still on admission. And per his condition, I think he's recuperating very well. Yeah, uh, it left with their hands that they need to go through a surgery. According to the doctor in charge, Dr. Boa Amwanten, he indicated that they need to fix a metal cable for the both hands to be able to become movable. And this surgery is going to take place coming Monday. And it's our hope that it will go through a successful operation and join his colleagues for his academic endeavor. Father of Abdul Majid, who has been discharged from the hospital, was also in court. The school authorities have been phenomenal. I think they helped in bearing all the costs so far. And the, the, the staff there, I, I congratulate them. When I got to Cape Coast, they were supportive. They were used to call me on, at any time. I think it's good.